Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of May 10, 2021. And this week we've got four topics. And the first one, I'm still shaking my head. Uh, this is a uh, Massachusetts that's trying to pass a law that would charge $1,000 to land your airplane at airports in Massachusetts. So we'll talk about the implications of that. We'll talk about Falcon, uh, the Falcon 10X from Dassault uh, that just got unveiled. <clears throat> we'll talk about flashing lasers at aircraft. Somebody get caught and we'll talk how, how much troubles they're in and, and why you shouldn't do that. And then lastly, we'll talk about the FAA adding new uh, symbols on the charts in more places for uh, space launch sites. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing this week is out of Massachusetts, and uh, this is not a good thing. The states of Massachusetts is proposing a, there's a bill out there, it's not passed yet, hopefully it doesn't pass, that is proposing to charge a $1,000 fee for landing of private, corporate, and charter aircraft. Uh, if you're looking for it, it's a Senate docket number 2078. And uh, this would take place as early as uh, January 1st of 2022, so about a little over six months from now, about six months from now. And um, this is what they, they call it a climate impact lending fee. And what they want to do basically with this is they want to be able to collect money and uh, to create, the, and, and this is a quote, uh, the fund shall be used by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation to invest in infrastructure owned by the Commonwealth that require repair and a adaptation due to the effect of climate change. So they're basically collecting money from aircraft that are um, supposedly creating a lot of climate effects, uh, but they're not collecting it from, uh, from commercial jets, which to me, if anything, uh, that's gonna be where you're gonna have uh, a lot of, um, anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna stop talking on this, but uh, you get the idea. Hopefully it doesn't pass. It means that if you own an aircraft and you live in Massachusetts, or if you train in Massachusetts, then you would be charged a thousand dollar landing fee every time that you land at an airport. So uh, not a good thing. Hopefully uh, it doesn't go through. The next thing is Dassault is uh, releasing the Falcon 10X. We talked about another aircraft from Dassault a couple weeks ago. Now this one is a little bit larger. This is expected uh, to have a range of 7,500 nautical miles, uh, flying at 0.925 Mach. So that's uh, about 700 miles an hour and, uh, and an altitude of 51,000 feet, flight level 510. So this is not a small aircraft by any mean. If you're familiar with the SO aircraft, they're just absolutely beautiful and, uh, and the, the, the utmost luxury for private jets. This has a ton of technology on board. You have a dual heads-up display, uh, what they call smart throttle. Uh, it's got a Rolls-Royce engine, the Pearl 10X, and then a whole bunch of different avionics from Honeywell. So uh, really cool aircraft. You can see the pictures in the background right here from that video, and it's just kind of amazing. The next thing is somebody get arrested for pointing a laser at an aircraft. And, and sadly, you know, this is not something that's, um, this is something that's pretty common that happens a lot. Now, people don't always get arrested because it's hard to find them on the ground. But this is a man in Tennessee that was pointing lasers at aircraft and also pointing lasers at uh, tractor trailers on I-40. Uh, American Airlines was the, the flight 2232. And they reported basically seeing a green laser being shot at the aircraft. And then some people on the road also called at the same time. But because they were on the road, they were able to figure out where the person was. And then they were able to identify they were in a room somewhere. And they were able to identify where the laser was coming from. And then they basically were arrested. Now, there was no injury, but uh, it is extremely dangerous to point lasers at aircraft. Uh, if you're ever in a situation where you have lasers pointing at you, uh, then you need to report it to the tower so they can investigate and get these people arrested for what they're doing. I, I have no idea what the the purpose of doing this is. I don't know what goes through people's head when this happens, but um, well, I guess it is what it is. Okay, next thing is the FAA is putting new things on the chart, uh, the sectional chart. You will be able to see more space launch areas um, as you peruse through the, the different charts. And this is uh, not something new if you are familiar with some of the landing sites around the country, uh, like Cape Canaveral, for example, had this uh, symbol already. It looks like a rocket, uh, a kind of a, the, the, the purple rocket. And uh, you'll find these in Alaska, California, Colorado, Florida, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Virginia. Uh, this is where we have FA licensed spaceports. And so if you see these, make sure that you stay away, make sure that you 
double check, triple check the, the radar, the NOTAMs and the TFR to make sure that, well, there is no activity when you're flying in those areas. Uh, I, I, grew, I grew up training in an area that had these, so we always checked the NOTAMs. We knew when NASA was going to launch the space shuttle at uh, Cape Canaveral. So we've, we're, I'm kind of used to dealing with these kind of things, but make sure that you don't get caught in one of those because, uh, well, it can be pretty expensive and uh, not something that you want to do. That's it. That's all I have for this week. If you are interested in drone stuff, we have a drone news update as well. Uh, we're talking about hotel this week. We're talking about a drone that doesn't have a controller and we're talking about some industry events. So head over to our other channel, the drone channel, and then uh, you'll be able to find information over there. But like, subscribe, leave a comment, do what it is that you do, and then uh, we'll see you guys next week.